What's up with it guys? Okay, welcome back to another video here. Now I wanted to quickly go through um, my UI and kind of how I have it set up and just kind of the important parts of it. Hopefully keep this real simple and short. Um, but there's really, um, there's only a handful of add-ons add that I suggest or think are like very helpful with just normal gameplay, especially in PvP. Um, so the two bar add-ons or ability-based add-ons are both Bartender and Weak Auras. These are both very popular. Um, but I'll start off real quickly with Bartender. Basically how I have it set up, all my keybinds are set up through Bartender and all my actual UI and like seeing ability cooldowns, things like that, is set up through Weak Auras. So what I'm actually clicking and pushing stuff, I'm actually using Bartender to do that. But I basically hide all of Bartender and then have uh, a more aesthetic pretty looking UI set up through weak auras that basically shows me all that information that I'm then inputting the keybinds into Bartender. So Bartender lets you just customize, adjust different bars. You can see here, so I have a bunch of weird keybinds um, set up on this side and I keep these hidden. So if you turn the alpha all the way down and the scale all the way down, um, you can see if I turn it back up, if I do the scale, it turns in this tiny, tiny little bar way, 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 way over here and then I turn the alpha down. I've had times where I leave them in the middle and I just turn the alpha down and like you can actually click abilities and stuff even if it's hidden, um, you can still click it. So for that reason, I have them awkwardly all the way off to the side and I put them invisible and tiny. Um, so those are my keybinds and I try to keep stuff similar between characters as far as like my mobility moves are the same keybind, my CCs are the same keybind, my interrupts are the same keybind, things like that. And then your main rotation is the same, you know, four or five buttons, whatever. But this is not really going over keybinds. I think keybinds is very personal as far as what your preference is. So there's not really a right or wrong. Now, the other thing that's really important, I think, is my weak auras because I feel like weak auras is a really, really powerful tool. Um, I really suggest if you're not using it to try it because I have found this really helpful for a couple of reasons. One, you can track all kinds of stuff very easily. So if you want to add tracking a trinket proc, uh, or even an Azerite trait proc, things like that now um, is really, really easy to do. And um, all that information is really helpful depending on what class you're playing uh, and what kind of build you're playing even for like hunters. If you're looking for specific procs, things like that. And Wegoras does a really good job of telling you that information. This is um, mostly pre-made, not all. I, I, I customized like all this stuff down here on the bottom left. I, I customized and added that. Um, but it's mostly made from FE. This you can see this name here, FE's MM Hunter uh, Weak Auras. I'll post a link down in the description. But um, these are basically pre-made kits. If you haven't used Weak Auras before, you can go down here to import and basically extract any. People can post their Weak Auras that they create for a class and spec. You can then import that, and it'll just automatically pop all that information in. And then you can scale it and move it and adjust it accordingly. You can hide certain ones. You can add certain things. So. Um, for example, like all this portion above this, this bottom bar right here is actually a bartender bar I just have shown. This is an example of like a bar that I swap out. Like if I trade trinkets, I'll put a different trinket in this slot. I manually will swap these out just so I visually can do it. I don't have to like adjust a bunch of weak auras and stuff. Um, and then this one I have as well shown smaller off to the side. I have these six are all key bound, uh, seven actually. So um, I kind of keep these depending on what I'm doing so I can have the ability to adjust some stuff and have some stuff really easy to, to like swap a keybind to. Um, but I the main thing I wanted to point out on this is if you see right here on the perimeter of kind of like the core abilities, all these big cooldowns, all of these you're seeing them count down right now. But the main thing that I wanted to point out is that I have it where they're all hidden if none of them are on cooldown. So for example, you don't see any aspect of the turtle, right? So that means it's available. So I go ahead and I use aspect of the turtle. I'll cancel it with my cancel macro. Now the cooldown is up. So you can see if I don't have anything showing as far as cooldowns, I know I basically have my entire kit available. If I feign death, okay, now that's on cooldown. If I go ahead and I trap, now that's on cooldown. If I go ahead and I, I do a blasting shot, that's on cooldown. If I go ahead and I scatter, now that's, oh, where is that? No, sorry, scatter I have down here. I don't have that set up in the weak auras. Um, what else? Uh, aspect of the Cheetah, Survival of the Fittest, Disengage, Tar Trap, Right? You see all these start popping up. But basically then, when they're available, the cooldown goes away. So it's a kind of a unique way. It's not necessarily normal, but I know where to be looking. And I actually really like this, mainly because it's really clean when you don't have abilities that you're on cooldown. And most of the time, 
that's the case, right? Like, especially in PvE, it's not like your aspect of the turtle is not on cooldown all the time. Your blasting shot's not on cooldown all the time. So it keeps your UI a lot cleaner for the majority of your gameplay, which I really like. Now, another um, add-on I have here, this is called Sexy Map. Uh, and it's really cool because you can, um, I have it locked now, but you can unlock it. You can move it anywhere that you want to. You can change the scale of it. Uh, and I actually found this really helpful because I play on an ultra wide monitor. So for me, having the mini map small up in the corner, it's actually like a noticeable amount of distance that your eyes are having to travel to do it. So um, I definitely suggest this if, um, even if you're using it on like tunes that you're farming with, like you're herbing or mining, it's really helpful because you can literally just make half of your screen the map. So you're not having to like squint at these little yellow dots on the map. Um, I found that really helpful. The other couple that are worth mentioning um, that I'm not going to have, they're not going to show right now, but you'll see them in my videos, um, is Battleground Enemies, which is basically an enemy targeting uh, party frames for enemy players in Battlegrounds, and then Gladius, which is the same thing for Arena. Those are both also very common. And I also do have KUI nameplates. This is a pretty new addition um, for my add-ons, um, but you can see here... It does show a handful of things. I haven't played with it to be able to add some stuff, but you can see it's basically just a, a nameplate add-on. There's also, a, what is it, tidy plates. There's a couple others, but um, I do think the UI, or sorry, the nameplate add-ons are very helpful for tracking CCs. I really need to spend some more time and add some stuff. Like my concussive shot does not show up here. You can see I have that debuff and it doesn't show. Certain things like that that I want to add and implement and I just haven't sat down and done it. Um, but I, I think the, especially for PvP, the nameplate add-ons are really, really crucial and really helpful. And then the last one here is details. Um, this is pretty standard. I think most people have this already anyway. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys, as far as all my add-ons go. So uh, I just wanted to kind of go over that real quickly. If you guys have any questions on the add-ons, um, by all means, feel free to comment in the section below. But uh, I'll post links to all of these as far as them being on the Curse website, uh, Curse, what is it called now, Curse Forge or whatever it is, um, but I think uh, the, the two main ones I would, as far as like takeaways from this video, would be Bartender and Weak Auras. Um, I would give it, if nothing else, try it for like a day or two, see if you can get used to it. There's all these already pre-done Weak Auras, so you don't have to learn how to do it or anything, you just copy-paste. And then um, Bartender basically can take your exact same keybinds and UI that you're using now. You can basically hide all that and then replace visual component of that with weak auras and keep all your keybinds the same. Um, I just think there's a lot of value in that, especially in PvP, having less clutter and more visibility on what's actually going on with your character is really going to go a long way um, in kind of climbing the ladders there. So anyways, thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.